Hi, hello, my name is Hannes Bard. Some of you might know me, some don't, but we'll get to know each other, I'm sure. I've been uh, standing in front of classes, lecturer, facilitator, call it what you like, for many, many years. And um, I've had some difficult questions from the floor, but this is a first. Looking at myself, or looking at a camera lens and trying to figure out what to say <laughs> is definitely not the same. So please excuse me if I don't come across as a very polished presenter because I haven't been on TV before. But the reason for this particular video is um, mainly to gauge whether there would be an interest for me to share my knowledge online. And I think some of the guys who know me and who's uh, been around for a while, they know that I know something. I think I know something. There could be guys that knows a lot more than I do, but I think my approach at one stage, especially on SANS 10142, was quite a unique approach. And um, I'm quite glad to say that um, I have not had any threatening letters from anybody who's been to my classes before. So yes, if there is any interest and if you feel there could be merit in me doing all and sharing all my knowledge online, please drop us a line. I would very much appreciate that. And I will put um, the email link at the back. And please excuse me if I look away from the camera every now and so often, is that number one, I've got reading glasses. So what I see in front of me is totally out of focus, uh, whether I put the glasses on or not. <laughs> I can only see what's on the screens. So I will have to uh, look away sometimes to actually see what I'm doing. In free Afrikaans Owens ook I can uh, I can try and and, and keep uh, the technical terms uh, in Afrikaans as well as in English. But what I have in mind is to, for instance, go to SANS 10142 and the Occupational Health and Safety Act and pull it to pieces a little bit. Um, let us go and have a look at the OSH Act for the moment. And you will see that it's quite a hefty document. It's got some 49 or 50 different sections in it. And um, 27 pages of legal jargon that we can work through and so on and so forth. Um, if we look at SANS 10142, uh, this happens to be a document that I put together uh, for a bunch of engineers to actually try and explain the difference between the, uh, the latest version and previous versions, and as you can see, um, I've highlighted certain things. I'm sometimes a stickler for reading the right words. Um, I've won many, many battles. And when I say many, I mean many battles. By just looking at the words, knowing exactly where a comma should be and where it is in the printed version, and then fighting my battle from that angle. I will never ever start a, a fight on any of these codes or uh, rules and regulations if I don't know the definitions for argument's sake. And that is one thing that I will definitely concentrate on, the definitions. <laughs> I have won numerous arguments by just going to the definitions. So therefore I feel that if you know the definitions of a particular word, what it means in that document and not some other document, you've got one up on the guy next door. Without the definition or knowing exactly what a particular word means in a particular document, sorry, you won't win that argument because a lot of people by misunderstanding the definitions don't know actually what fight they are fighting. So if you think there is merit in me doing this kind of thing online and we will develop as we go along, um, Please drop us a line.